All right, much better. Hi everyone, Angela here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back to watch another video. That steering wheel is always in the way. Here I am sitting in a random parking lot again in Southeast Texas. Yes, I'm just going to take you on the random parking lot tour. Um, this is not the video that I wanted to even post today, but I feel like I'm in need of a life update. And um, yeah, and I need to, I have tons of other, not tons, I have a few other videos that I wanted to put up, but I think that today is the day that I just need to sit and talk to the camera and kind of just get it out. Get it out there. Mom works on a lot of different things this week. So, first things first, yesterday I got the call. Tiny Tot is going to daycare. And she's going to daycare on Monday. So, like... I don't know if I should be nervous about it or not, you know, like I tell other people that she's going to daycare and she's like, oh, well, she's going to have this and this problem, blah, 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 you know, or like somebody told me that she was going to cry on the first day when I dropped her off. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't really see my kid being that type of kid. And I'm like real like, I'm a cutthroat mom, like real savage or whatever. So like I like always drop her off and go like I cut out and like she's never ever really like cried when I've dropped her off or anything obviously I've been a couple of places I've gone to Canada and I've gone on several trips where I've left her overnight and or for several nights and you know we've never really had a problem so like her going to daycare doesn't seem like a big deal to me and I'm like I said cut for it mommy um so I don't really think that it's gonna be a big deal um, daycare is expensive, so hey, keep that in mind. And then when your child goes to daycare, then they need like other things too. So then daycare becomes really expensive. So hey, if you don't have any kids, you you know just be prepared for the unexpected cost of parenthood. But it's okay. She's going to go to daycare, and I'll have a little bit more time to myself. And she's gonna have more structure and I'm gonna have more structure and it's gonna be a fabulous thing what else someone commented or they said they slid into my dms asking how come I never post about like my workout stuff here on my youtube hey I'm not a fitness channel and I'm not gonna pretend like I have all this knowledge in exercise science because I don't you know like I do the stuff that I do and I don't know like running or walking is like not very exciting to like watch you know unless you're running through the foothills or something like that and i'm like literally running through a neighborhood or like they're like we don't have pretty parks here so not to run in so like i don't have anything like that but i guess i could talk a little bit more about the workouts that i do like as far as like right now I'm preparing to walk a half marathon and I'm actually doing workouts so like I guess maybe if you're interested to give a thumbs up if you're interested in the type of workouts that I do not just like hey I walk three miles today but like the structure how I set up my workouts and things like that then maybe I can like guess I can you know talk a little bit more about that I don't have a problem with that if you want to hear about it then that's fine you know like I don't really share about like what I eat in the day because I kind of like I'm not real adventurous like you see all these other people they're like oh I wake up and I have my smoothie in the morning in their perfectly white kitchen and you know my kitchen's dark as you know because that's my favorite place to vlog but um, you know um or they'll be like I had my avocado toast for my snack or whatever and my life isn't really like that it's not it's not interesting I, I eat the same stuff all the time because you know ground turkey and things like that so I mean I can share those type of things with you also thumbs up if you want to see uh, what Angela eats in a day Hey, that would be a pretty easy new video to make too. So thumbs up if that's what you want to see. Um, this is the main thing that I wanted to talk about. So this past weekend, I was like a little MIA 
and I usually record my videos on the weekend that's why I don't have like a lot of content for this week and I missed uploading videos last week because I was doing a Les Mills RPM training and as you know I taught cycle at my gym and I lost my classes in July and so I went into this RPM training hoping that maybe I can get you know back at the gym or something that's what I'm really hoping but like I want to talk about how I felt going into training like I was actually dreading training and I the whole week I was trying to find a way to get out of doing the training because I just didn't feel like that I belong there and I guess maybe because when I taught my classes and I taught my classes for a really long time it was like seven years eight years I don't know like so I taught these classes for a really, really long time and I lost my class and it was a huge blow to my self-confidence. And so I went into training thinking, A, I'm not as qualified as everyone else to be teaching. B, I'm not as good enough as everyone else to be teaching. And C, I'm gonna be like the lame duck in there. And so like, these are all very negative things. So mom needs to work on A, not comparing herself and B, believing in the skills that I actually have because you know like I said I taught for a really long time and you know I'm not a newbie at this and so like I worried about it and I was just like no this is not something that I need to do and when I got in there I was like oh all these people are going to be better than me and you know it was just like a real crushing feeling for me and I just felt like suffocated and the whole first day I was just really nervous about it and then what they do is they give you tracks to prepare that you have to teach to the people that are there so I'm sitting there in a group of my peers and um and they're going to critique me you know like even though it's not like a full-on class critique but you know they're watching you they're judging you and all of it and so that made me really nervous but at the end of the day I did I actually did good like I did better than expected just because my method of preparing is different from someone else's or just because they have a class and I don't have a class doesn't mean that I'm not good at what I do you know or and it just I don't know it makes me feel like I really just need to step up my game and just you know believe in myself believe in the skills that I have and believe in my worth because instead of comparing myself to everyone else i'm better than that and i know that i'm the person that stands in my way a lot of the time because i you know as much as i say i don't care what people think i do care about what people think i want to be liked and i've never ever been the person in the group that's well liked i don't ever i've never had a lot of friends and i've just always felt like that i've had to work so much harder to make friends with people and to you know like even in school like I was I was smart but like I felt like I had to work really hard for that and you know it was just you know I always feel like that I'm two steps behind everyone else but even though I may be two steps behind everyone else that doesn't mean that I don't put in the work for it and I need to acknowledge that because like when I went and did when I taught my track the instructor of the class she was like oh my gosh you were so quiet and timid and then when you got up there on the bike you turned into a totally different person and you did so well and whatever like she was excited when I when I had finished my critique and not that she wasn't excited for everyone but I could tell that like she was really impressed with what I had done and that just made me feel so good in that moment and then it made me stop and think why was I like critiquing myself and being so hard on myself when I don't need to be like that and that's just kind of a lesson that I think everyone needs to hear especially growing into adulthood look I'm almost 40 and this is the way that I feel I shouldn't feel like this I should be better and, and that's not something that I want to teach my child that maybe that's why I'm a little savage mom you know because I want her to be successful and to be a little bit different than I am so um yeah that's kind of just like what i've been working on you know and the in my life update and so i'm just kind of excited to see what's gonna happen next um so yeah that is all for this video thank you for stopping and taking the, the time to watch my video and uh i'll see you in the next one bye